Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm joined by Ollie and his Abarth 595 comp. Now, it's been a while since I've had an Abarth on the channel. Obviously my mum has a 695 XSR um, and I've kind of done a few little bits with Abarth in the past, but I've never really featured a modified one. And this one is certainly modified. Running 260 brake? 260, yeah. What about the uh, torque? Uh, torque is over 400 newton meters. Yeah. 286 pound feet. For something that weighs as light as an abarth, that is yeah. going to be pretty mental. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think this is going to be quite a fun video actually. I think it's kind of cool to kind of branch out a bit and kind of explore some of the mini hot hatches um, and definitely ones that are modified as much as this one. So I think what we'll do in typical fashion with my videos, we'll hand things over to you Ollie. Yep. Uh, we can run around the car, learn a little bit more about it and then we'll go out and have some fun seeing as it's such a lovely day. Sound good? Good. Sweet. Let's do it. Hi right, guys, this is my 2017 Abarth 595 Competizione. Um, first things I've done is got the probably the most obvious uh, thing to most people is the bonnet vent. Mm -hmm. um, this is from Cadamuro in Italy. Um, just I mean it just looks mental. Really. <laughs> it does look cool. Um, is that a whole different bonnet? Is it? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's, is it comes it? as the whole bonnet um, with the cutout. Yeah. You just have to weld it together. Um, obviously gloss black to match all the other gloss black on the car. Yep. Um, done these little eyelids. Oh, they Why look not? I didn't notice that. I think it looks mean. Yeah, are they, they're tinted as well, those lights. Yeah, well, tinted they? lights. Yeah. Um, that's just spray tint. Yeah. Um, carbon fiber eyelids. Uh, got the splitter. Uh, that is from S Forza in Italy. Mm -hmm. um, short number plate, just little bits. I like the theme of the red with all the gloss black as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a really lot of, it comes with a lot of scratchy grey yes, material. Yes, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. So I want to just black all that out. Yeah. Um, got the little canards here as well. Yeah. Just to give it a little bit. To me, it looks a little bit too cute at the front. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people say that. It looks too much like a Fiat 500. Mm. So I just thought, give it a little touch. No, it looks, I mean, you were following me just to get here and it looks yeah. mental as well. Now, moving around to the side, what have we got so around here? We've got uh, spacers, they're 20 mil spacers all round. Yeah. Uh, they are 25 mil at the front springs, 30 mil at the back. Yeah. And obviously I've changed the super sports that you normally get with the Competizione uh, for Bola FLBs. Uh, I was the only car, a bath in the country with them, but it turns out not anymore. <laughs> um, I know no, there's, it, there's it, an Abarth with silver ones. Oh, really? As well. No, it um, does sit really, really well. Yeah, of course you get the Brembo's. Yep. Um, they're standard. I standard brakes. any brakes, nothing yep. like that. It's perfectly fine as it yep. is. Um, side skirts as well? Side skirts also from S Forza, same as the splitter and the rear diffuser. Yep. I mean, I think it just looks, there's a different style one, it's just at the back, but for <laughs> me, the whole, it just sets the car off. I quite like how it kind of fades out towards the end, actually. Yeah, it makes it look slightly wider, it's a bit of a... Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's really, really good. I mean, look at that, from that angle there. I love those canards on the front. It really suits it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sort of taking it from an A45. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it works with just the one. I did have two. Okay. It was a bit OTT. I think yeah. That's the thing with this. From the beginning, I didn't want it to be like you've just driven through Halfords. <laughs> you know, I want it to be clearly there, but yeah. With taste, you but know with what I mean? taste, yeah. Um, so all of this trim was sort of grey. This is all gloss uh, blacked yeah. out. Done the, the badges, badges well. and things like That's that. That's a well. really nice touch. Uh, like carbon that. fibre spoiler extension. Yep. That is from MS Racing in England. Yep. Actually. Trying to remember all the different parts. <laughs> yeah, they're all from different places. <laughs> uh, some more tinted lights. Yep. Same as the front. I do like these latest generation lights, actually. Yeah, I've just. They look so much, I like the whole rear end in general, yeah. compared to the Series 3. It just looks a bit too round for me. Mm. That splitter is, well that diffuser, sorry, is massive. Yeah, that's, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's also from S4. 
Yeah, so you've got the complete kit. The complete kit, yeah, front, side and back. Mm -hmm. Obviously finished in gloss black, pretty yep. much everything else. Um, exhaust, talk to me about the exhaust. Yeah, the exhaust <laughs> is interesting, because I did originally have the Monza. Yep. Which is exercise exercise Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, which I like that, the two on there, you know. Yeah, two on each so side. Better. Um, but this is four and a half inch tips. Uh, it's a two and a half inch system the whole way through. Yep. Um, straight through, just with a big sport cat at the front. Okay, basically. yeah. So I didn't want to go complete decap. Completely, like, yeah. the emission and all that. <laughs> So it's pretty loud. I mean, I think the yeah. Bass are known for sounding amazing, even though they've got a tiny lot like well, one. The is for it. unbelievable. Yeah. But it was just a look for me because I've got the diffusion extension. It was very hidden. Yeah. They're just like two little pea shooters. You couldn't see. Yeah, that's true. I can imagine that. But yeah, these it's tips. Just like, like a hole, whereas that they've been pushed forward a little bit. Yeah, and that looks yeah. class. Obviously, you've tinted all that as well in there. Tinted all, yeah, that's all gloss black now as well. Yeah. Um, inside, have you done anything to the inside? The interior is completely standard. Yeah. Um, done nothing to that. I was more sort of exterior and engine. Yeah, I mean, sure. I think it looks all right as it is. I love the interiors of us. Oh, I love the little yeah, boost yeah. gauge you get up there yeah. as well. And these seats. Speed, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, these seats. I love these seats. It's almost obnoxiously big gauge. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit, isn't it? I mean, you couldn't really change these seats because they're pretty knockout as they are. Yeah, Obviously, so we've got a, a manual, five-speed manual. Yeah. Um, oh, is this all the um, the grey plastic that you're talking about? Yeah, it's exactly the same as on yeah. the trim. As yeah. Well. Do you reckon you'd change that to gloss black or maybe even carbon? No. I was thinking maybe red carbon. Okay. Yeah. Um, and also the steering wheel. You can get little bits of the steering wheel. Oh, as I well. see. Yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you've got the yeah, you've got carbon up there. Oh yeah, that's lovely. Look at that. You don't get on many cars of this price bracket. No, that's very true. <laughs> very true. That's that's a big plus. Yeah. You open it up and you get the aluminium pedals and everything. Yes, yeah. but I think the last thing to do is probably have a little look. Under underneath the bonnet, the bonnet that's yeah. Where the magic happens. Oh, definitely, because I mean, what do these things stock? Like 140? Uh, 180. 180. Oh, the 180. Yeah, 180 comp. Um, I'm not quite sure on the year, but there was a 160 comp. Okay. And then they changed it to a yeah. So I mean, you've done a fair old amount. <laughs> yeah, but it's only done seven, nearly seven and a half thousand miles. Yeah. In uh, one and a half years, which is. You've it? had it from new, have you? From new, yeah. yeah. Oh wow, look at it's that. It's very hot. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Um, so, we've got <laughs> forge, uh, carbon fibre intake. Yep. This is all done at Tuneful Performance in mm -hmm. Watford. Okay. A genius with a bath, <laughs> especially. Um, he knows everything, so just left into it. Yeah. Um, we've got a TDO4 turbo, which I believe is out of a Subaru. Oh, really? Same turbo, but slightly different um, linkages and things like that. Yeah. But it's originally from uh, Subaru. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's pretty big either way. <laughs> yeah, we've got three 90cc injectors. Mm -hmm. You've got the blow-off valve down there. Oh, nice. Uh, what else? You've got an upgraded intercooler or anything? Yes, forge intercooler. Yep. It's all forge. Forge oh, intercooler, yeah. forge intake pipes. Um, we've got forge actuator as well. Mm -hmm. If you look down there, you see the big old fan that comes with the intercooler. You might be able to see that down there. Actually, what I love yeah. about this is because it's such a small engine bay, yeah. how it's so crammed in. That's, I mean, that's the thing as well. <laughs> I mean, that is, I mean, that's borderline. <laughs> I mean, I think if you put these into a bigger, a bigger engine bay, it wouldn't hmm. look as, that's the fact true. it's so busy, yeah. I just, I quite like the look of it. Too yeah, much. it's all like tangled up and all looks pretty <laughs> yeah. awesome. Yeah. Wicked. Well, I mean, this thing, just looking around it, I mean, so much has been done. Yeah. Have you got any other plans for it, do you reckon? I think I'm done now. You think you're done, I yeah. I think I'm done. I've, I've, yeah. That's what they all say. <laughs> that is what they all say. That's what I said. Yeah. I actually said I wasn't going to modify it. Oh, really? About a year ago. And here oh, we are. No way. Well, you, mate, you get I'm, the itch, don't you? you yeah. Know, you do one thing and yeah. all of a sudden you do 30. Well, I'm glad you have because it looks absolutely class. And I if think... I was to go any more, I think it would be a different car. Oh, yeah, definitely. A bigger car with a yeah. bigger power, yeah. like a Golf R. Still a hot hatch or something? I'm thinking sort of Golf R, RS3, that yeah. sort of Yeah, the, the big guns, really. Um, yeah, anything about an upgrade. But at the minute, I mean, it's just everything I want it to be. Yeah, no, I yeah. can imagine it's an absolute laugh because it's so yeah. light, these things. And it gets so much attention. Yeah, it's I such bet. such a small car. Yeah. You could drive around in an Aston Martin and be like, oh, that's Aston Martin. That's lovely. <laughs> but this, this, because of the look of it, yeah. you'd be surprised how many people ask me about it, stop me on the road. Really? It's Unbelievable. Crikey. On the way here, people on the M3, no, stuck no. in traffic. 
Wow, what powers have got? That's, you know, <laughs> that's fantastic. That's the lovely thing about the car community when you see people yeah. about and they ask things about your and car. Of course, the, the community for a bath, especially. True, as yeah. Steph AB would know. Yeah. Unbelievable. And the people there are just so fantastic. Yeah. Um, no, I do like an Abarth. I do like an Abarth. I think my mum would probably like this as well because, like I said, she's got a 695 XSR. 695, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, this thing is an absolute beast. Anyway. I think we've uh, pretty much learned everything that there is about the car. Shall we uh, hop in? Yeah. And enjoy yeah. some of this lovely day and uh, well, have a bit of a have a bit of a laugh, yeah. shall we? Yeah. Let's make some noise. <laughs> Yeah. 
they're so big, it doesn't go all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> that was that kind of noise that you just won't get bored of. <laughs> Man, ain't what my mum refuses to drive it. That's true, yeah. <laughs> so you probably think, what, what the hell's going on? <laughs> Please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe. All the adventures. Yeah.